swallow for me, please? A typical day is a clinic day. I come in in the morning and I have a patient list that I need to go through and I start seeing my patients, talk to them. A lot of them might be chemotherapy patients. And then after lunch, it might be just follow-ups or new consults. That's all the nodes in that area. A medical oncologist in a dictionary would look like a doctor who is providing cancer care, but also with a compassion that needs to go with that to take care of the whole patient. Not fingernails, but the palms, okay. I do general oncology, but I do have a lot of interest in breast uh, oncology, and I think that's a very good example of multidisciplinary care. We are the medical oncologists, we have a role to play. Surgical oncology has a role to play, as well as radiation oncology. So these are the three disciplines that are all involved at Oshner here, what we've tried to do is to have all these services together under one building, and at the same time, we are starting a multidisciplinary clinic for breast cancer patients. So imagine that somebody gets diagnosed and they get referred to us. We try to see them the same day. The patient would come in, we would have already talked about that patient from what we know, and then the surgeon would see the patient, I would see the patient, and then the radiation oncology would see the patient, and we'll come up with a plan together. What would cause someone to have thyroid issues? So the thyroid could be, well, this is just to check for an enlargement. Thyroid issues could be, like, it's, they're mostly autoimmune. When I was in residency training, I wasn't really sure what specialization was for me, but then I started seeing patients and just became aware of cancer being so common. And I was in New York and I did a rotation at Sloan Kettering, uh, which is a fantastic cancer hospital, and I was just drawn to um, how much passion everybody had for their patients and how a great multidisciplinary team approach could save lives. And that's really when I got really drawn to oncology because it is a chronic disease. We are with the patients for a number of years and uh, people would be surprised to know how much we learn about the patients and their families and how close we get to them. Uh -huh. I believe, have you heard of them? Yes, yes. So yeah, yeah. someone... I'm constantly in gratitude of patients because they, they would surprise you. They would bring fresh vegetables from their garden or deer meat or fish that they just, you know, went fishing. And just to know that they think of you and remember uh, and want to bring you something and share your that, that important part of their life with you, it just is uh, very humbling. I'm so grateful to do what I am able to do to help my patients and I learn from them every day and I really want to thank them.